draft, I ask this question. What was the single greatest draft pick in NBA history? And, Paul, you were disqualified from going with Paul Pierce, 10th overall to Boston Man, the best in 1998. That was, yeah, though, I, I mean, knew, yeah, that was the greatest. Best 10th pick ever, though. Okay, but other than you, your greatest pick <laughs> ever was? <laughs> the greatest pick ever in NBA history? This is an easy one. The color Joker. Wow. Jokic. Okay. Think about this, Skip. He was picked 41st. He was. Second round. No other second rounder has won MVP. Well, there was one guy, Willis Reed, but guess what? When Willis Reed got drafted, he was the 10th pick, and the first round was nine picks. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the modern day second round, 41st pick, yep. this guy has been dominant. He's won three MVPs in the last. Four years, and look at these numbers right here. This is your 41st Ooh. pick. Could you imagine this year somebody in the 41st pick getting a player like this? I mean, there's it's not even close. These numbers scream number one pick in the draft. The top two pick and the top three pick in the draft, and you get them at 41, mm. and you change your entire fortune of your franchise. It's not even close. And I know you guys are going to maybe say Kobe, Jordan, or whoever, LeBron, whatever y'all going to say. But the 41st pick, and you getting first pick production. Mm -hmm. And you got a championship out of it. It's not close, guys. And I'll, I'll throw this in. They had Nurkic, who was pretty good. Yeah, and at like the time, was they was, like, yeah. trying to decide who yeah, they're going to keep. They were. And... He's, go he's going to be in the conversation when it's all said and done. It's one of the best big men ever. He's already in the conversation. Yeah. I mean, you can argue, was he more dominant than Shaq? Is there, there's been, like, conversations about this. Like, I not, mean... Not, not, not for not me. Not over here. Yeah, not, not from no, over no, here no, either. Not, not, not for know, me. The conversation has been brought up. Yeah. By who? It's just, I mean, Key, you averaged 27, Man, I don't 14 think... rebounds, 8 assists. Ain't nobody in, on nobody on that's this God dominant. given earth that's an NBA executive gonna take him over to Diesel. No, no, not at all. So why would we saying, even had that conversation? Well, I mean, I'm just saying he's in the conversation. He could, he's gonna be arguably one of the best centers that may, we've that ever may, seen. It may be true based on the mm -hmm. center game is weak. At now. the 41st mm -hmm. pick, think about and, the guys. Think about this kid. The guys who we talk about the best big, big man all time, Russell. Uh, Kareem, Shaq, these is all number one picks. Will, yeah. Will these are all number one picks. Yeah. But we're putting the guy at the 41st pick. I, I give you that. In this conversation. Yeah. No, it's, 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 you know, you putting him in that conversation. No, he's in the conversation. I ain't putting him in the conversation with them dudes. Three MVPs already I don't in give a damn about no three MVPs. He ain't in no conversation with them dudes you just named. He's in the conversation. How, Paul? He can't play with them. He couldn't play with them dudes. He Are you couldn't, kidding me? Man, he couldn't play with them dudes. He can't what? play. Man, you know what Shaq could do to him? You played with Shaq, but you played with Shaq. I mean, I ain't saying Shaq, you Shaq, 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 Shaq was dominant. I get that, it. Okay. I'm saying, this guy what would the dominant. dream do to him? That's all I'm saying. He's in the conversation get... with the dream. I, I give you this. He can flat pass the basketball yeah. better than and all those other guys. That's what separates him. He yeah. can, that's what those, gets him in the yeah. conversation. He can yeah. do those things. And he can score just as good as all of them. He can score. Yeah, because he shoots the three. Exactly. Okay. So he's in the conversation. I, I, 41st pick doing these things, you change the fortune of your franchise. You guys are going to be saying some people that you expect it to be that. I, you know. Yeah. Well, for me, it's, it's Kobe. Because I didn't expect a kid out of high school at 18 years old when kids weren't coming out of high school mm -hmm. at that point in time as the 13th pick. Yep. To well, go they just on. started coming out of high school. That's what I'm saying. That coming out of high school, you didn't expect that, right? Yeah. You had you had Jermaine O'Neal, you had KG, you had Al Harrington. These are just names at the top of my head. You had Kobe in that at that time span. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. To go on and have a celebrated career as the 13th overall pick, you didn't see it. I saw him in high school. I mean, obviously, but I'm like, there's no way. We saw him early on in his career, airballing, even though he was taking the shots. It's like, come on, man. What did we just do? But then all of a sudden, the light switch turned on in the relentless effort and who he was and how he was going to do things. And it's not because I'm a Laker fan, but when I'm seeing it up close in person, and then I look at his accolades and the things that he accomplished, you know what I'm saying, on and off the court. Think about it. Jerry West had Vlade and said, you know what? I want the high school kid. 
I want the high school kid. Shh, don't say anything. We getting ready to give up our guy for the high school guy. And, and when you go in, you talk about five titles, two final MVPs, a regular season MVP, all NBA 11 times, nine yep. defensive first teams, two scoring, yep. like it's just, yeah. you know, at the 13th spot. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about the first, the second, or the third, the 13th spot. Yeah. You don't get that from, and no. you just don't. You don't get three MVPs from the 41st spot. I, 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 <laughs> that don't make yeah. sense. But at a time <laughs> that where, don't make there, sense. There, at a time, though, for me, where well, you got two bigs. You got two bigs you in the league. You know who else was picked at the 13th spot? Carl Malone. Mm -hmm. uh, Malone, I believe. Good one. W wasn't yeah. he the 13th pick? I mm -hmm. think he was. Carl Malone was picked at the 13th spot. Yeah, but Carl Malone can't tell went to college. You this, can't, he came yeah. from high school. But uh, you can't tell me anybody that's been picked at 14, 41, I mean. Mm. I, 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 get, I get what you're Let, saying, Paul. I'm not, I'm not saying that he's not no, deserving yeah, I mean, of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. But when you start, when I start, when you start putting him with them other dudes, yeah, right. I'm like, if he played against them dudes and he was playing in that era with them, ain't no way in the world he doing this thing. Like, when you do the redraft with Kobe, clearly number one pick. Yeah. In that draft. I mean, if you're looking at the accolades, because AI yeah, looking, was the number I mean, one AI, guy. At that yeah, time. AI, but AI would, would be probably number two. If okay. you redraft that draft now, after the careers. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Mean, it's 100%. I don't hate either of your choices. Oh, God. I can't even argue against either of your choices, yeah, though I, I will throw this out. Manu Ginobili at 57 that was, was pretty a pretty good. great pick. That's pretty good. Maybe not quite Joker for what he's meant to that franchise, mm -hmm. but without Ginobili, they don't win those championships. Mm -hmm. As much as I love me some Tim Duncan and to a certain extent Tony Parker, yeah. Ginobili was the electricity of those teams. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to your point, Kobe was the closest thing to Michael Jordan I've ever seen, but he was not quite Jordan. And as simple as this sounds as a pick, I got to go with Jordan as the greatest pick ever only because I was in the middle of that draft. And now that I look back, he went third overall, and it feels like now he went 30th overall because of what he became, to me, by far the greatest player ever, the, the greatest force of nature we've ever seen in any sport as, as a performer and a leader and a but if you go difference third, maker. But if you go third overall, Skip, they're drafting you to do what Jordan did at third. No one, no one saw it. I'm not even sure Chicago saw it coming. No, I don't think they saw yeah. it coming. You saw yeah. great, but you didn't see greatest ever. You saw, yeah. you saw, you certainly saw all you, star. Is, but you got to understand this. Like, when Jordan got picked, this was the big man's era. And, and yeah, was, they was going to take Sam Well, Bulls. It was big men becoming the greatest yeah, of all yeah, time. Absolutely. At, at the time. Okay. You know? And Akeem Olajuwon was hands down the number yeah. one overall pick because he had dominated college basketball, even though Fai Slamma Jamma couldn't get over the hump. They couldn't get over. Valvano got him, obviously, in 83. I was there in Albuquerque, and then the next year they lost to Georgetown in the finals. And that they got beat by Jordan's uh, and Worthy's team in 82 in the national semifinals before Jordan, as a freshman, won it all. But... You can't argue with Akeem's career no. because, my God, I look at this. He was a 12-time All-Star, two-time rebound champ, three times block champ, nine times All-Defense, two-time Defensive Player of the Year, two times Finals MVP. It, it, it's like there, you there's You know how many no, people will take that? Oh, God. Yeah, you got to take it. Listen, at the time, hands down, case closed, Hakeem goes number one to Houston. I didn't second-guess it. I, there was no yeah. quibble. Nobody second-guessed it. And I'll be honest, because I was right in the middle of this, I did not question Sam Bowie going second overall to Portland because he was 7-1, yeah. and he was just tall and long. Yeah, and it, was yes, it was a big man's league. It was. It was a big man's it, league. It was. So he had averaged 13-9 and nine at Kentucky. Not dominating numbers, but he just looked scary because he was so long and tall and agile. He was agile. And he... He goes to Portland, and his leg gets hurt, and then his foot gets hurt, and then his leg gets hurt again, and he plays 10 seasons and averages 11 and 8 and is looked at as a complete failure, okay, because of who went third overall. Yeah. So I was in Dallas. I was close to Rick Sun, who was then the personnel director of the Mavericks, who was sitting there telling me, man, I really like this Jordan kid, but 
you know, I, I just don't know if Chicago's going to take him and Mavericks wind up with Sam Perkins, who was a very good player and had a good year for your Lakers back in 92. Mm -hmm. But the difference between Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins is night and day, obviously. So well, it turned out that way, yeah, clearly. It, 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 but it, at the time, you thought, well, Sam Perkins is pretty good. You yeah, know, Sam Perkins was good. good. Okay, so I look at Michael Jordan's years under Dean Smith at Carolina. So as a freshman, he averages 14, four and two, but, but when it was time to take the last shot to win the game, the national championship game against Georgetown, yeah. Dean Smith called Michael